Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, uh, I want to talk about uh, buying a used trailer. And what comes along with a headache as of last year. Uh, I recently purchased a uh, 7x14, no, 7x12. Trailer. I would. I didn't know if I wanted to buy a new one. I was. I was in the market to buy a new trailer because uh, my business is growing. For those of you uh, don't know, that are new to my channel. I. Uh, I'm Gorilla. Gorilla Long Care. And uh, I used to work out on the back of my truck. I grew it. Got a little five by eight trailer for like I think five hundred bucks. I paid five hundred bucks for it. No. Take that back. 250 bucks. But I had to travel about an hour and a half drive to go pick it up. It had a load of trash on it. Told the lady she wanted she wanted 400, I believe. I think it was 400. I told her I'd give her 250 and I hauled the trash. So, uh, uh, long story short, I went up there, got the trailer, brought it home, took all the trash and put it in trash bags and whatnot. And, uh, all I had to do is take it up there and get a, I had to bill a sale, she didn't have a title for it. It was actually the original trailer that I sold a year, a years ago, I mean years ago. And the buddy I sold it to, sold it to somebody else and then she wanted to sell it. I needed a small trailer because I had a bigger equipment that I needed to haul because I couldn't haul it back in my truck. Anyway, uh... Whew, sorry about that. Uh, just had a root canal done uh, yesterday. Lasted about three hours. Had two root canals done on this side. Man, I was there at the dentist for three hours. Anyway, I'm feeling better. My jaw is still swollen a little bit, but I mean, it's getting better. Anyway, back to the uh, used trailers. <laughs> yeah, if you got the money to go buy a used trailer, I mean, a brand new trailer then I would highly recommend it, okay? Because I'm fixing to tell you why. Now, I don't know about other states, but here in Texas, as of the as of 2021, they changed the laws here. And, uh, well, used to you could go with a bill of sale and go up to the DMV and say, hey, I just bought this trailer. This is what I paid for it, la di da la di da and uh, and get your get your uh, get it transferred to your name, and you get the title, or they'll give you a title for it, and all that new license plate and whatnot. Anyway, uh, excuse me. Woo, damn. Uh, hadn't had any sleep lately, guys, for the tooth man. It had me up. Anyway, uh. The thing of it is, is when I went and bought the, when I bought the used trailer, the, the spot by eight didn't have that problem. But then in 2021 or 2020 into 21, I'm not sure what year, but they uh, some new laws went into effect buying used trailers or homemade trailers or whatever. Like I said, you see, you can just take a bill of sale down there and say, hey, I need to get this transferred in my name. I want license plates. I want a title, whatnot, la di da, la di da. Well, that wasn't the case this year. Okay, I outgrew my uh, five by eight trailer. I had uh, sold it for five hundred bucks, and I got my money out of it, man. I used it for like I don't know a year, two years, something like that. Uh, but anyway, I grew my trailer. I wanted to get a bigger trailer. I needed, I needed, I wanted a six by twelve. I mean a seven by twelve or seven by fourteen. I wasn't really sure because uh, I, I was going to keep it in my garage, and I could have got away with the seven by fourteen if I wanted to. But I found this trailer that I got. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Uh, the guy wanted 1,200 for it, and I was like, "Decent little trailer, man. You know, bill of sale, whatnot. No, no problem." Uh, I met the guy down there, and he's like 30, about 20 minutes away in uh, another town called Greenville, Texas. Anyway. Went down there, told the guy, I said, look, I got $900 cash in my pocket. Will you take 900 cash? He said, yes, I'll take it. 
So, we, you know, we did the transaction, gave him the 900 bucks cash. The same very day, I was in negotiations with a guy who wanted to buy my other trailer for 500. I told him 550, but when he got here, I just said, just I'll take 500, man. You know, no biggie, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Probably help him out, whatnot. I didn't care. Uh, anyway, long story short, I'm trying to make this quick. I'm trying to make it under 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, I sold my trailer that very night as I was bring home my new trailer. I pulled the old trailer out of the garage, unloaded it, had it out in the front yard for him to come pick it up. He's on the way. He came. He showed up. Gave me the. I, he gave me the money. So I only paid like 500 or something like that for the trailer. Uh, I ended up giving 400 bucks for a six by 14 trailer. Okay, six, seven by 12, 14, uh, single axle, 3,500 pound axles. Uh, I gave 400 for the for the trailer because I sold my other trailer for 500. Well, I had a bill of sale from the other guy. I went to the DMV or the registration motor vehicle place and thinking that's all I needed. Well, they're telling me, you know, you got to go to the main office in Carrollton, Texas, and you got to do this, you got to do that. First of all, they told me I need to get, uh, I need to take the trailer to get it inspected by the uh, law enforcement agency, which is, they have a deal now where uh, you take the trailer, they inspect it, they look for serial numbers or identification number or whatever. But I said, okay, so I had to, I didn't know that. See, if I knew, if I, I didn't know that. So I had to set up a point for that. And that was like two, three weeks away. And I had, I had originally gotten a 30 day permit for the trailer to operate it, to pull it around, to be able to haul my equipment with. And I wanted to stay legal. That cost me 30 bucks. 30 bucks and uh, yeah I did that and then uh, I call I called the guy back I had I had lost a bill of sale or he well originally the bill of sale that he gave me he gave me a bill of sale with his name on it and everything he bought it from somebody else but the uh, he never had it transferred into his name or something like that it, he the last time it was transferred or registered was in 2016 so I'm like, God, dog, man. So the guy, well, I called the guy back that I bought it from, told him what the deal was, what was going on. And uh, he said, okay, tell you what, I got, he, he was also in the lawn care uh, also. And uh, I mean, I, I mean, he seemed like a nice, honest, legit guy. But uh, I told him what the deal was, texted him and this and that. He called me, we talked. What not? He was real apologetic and uh, this and that. But long story short, he had to bring me uh, the original. He, he had another guy do a bill of sale for the trailer in his name. Okay. Well, I took it back, hoping that the uh, DMV would would honor that. Cause was, the first the first bill of sale wasn't registering up, showing up in his name, wouldn't come up in his name, so they couldn't do nothing. Well, the second time I did it, same thing happened. It wasn't registered and it wasn't coming up in his name. I'm like, man, this is bullshit. So, I, you know, I got a good deal on the trailer, whatnot. At that moment, I did get a good deal on the trailer. Uh, yeah. Well, it was a big mess. Okay. Like I said, they changed the laws in 2009. I mean, in 2020 or 21. I had to, I had to, I had to have the original bill, uh, uh, the bill of sale with a guy's right address and name on it. Okay. Then I had to take it to a law enforcement agency where you, where you take your trailer to get it inspected and they look for it to see if it's stolen or whatever. But this is a homemade trailer that I have. Okay. And it's a real good home. It's built pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. And, uh. But anyway, you had I had to go get another original bill of sale. I had to go get, uh, get, get had to get it inspected by a law enforcement agency. I had to take it to a place called Mesquite, Texas, which is about 30 minutes from my house, 40 minutes. I had to set up a point for that. When I got there, there's a huge ass line long around the building, and uh, 
I was like, man, they had a couple records there. So I guess if any of those trailers were stolen, they haul them off. So if you pay two thousand, three thousand, four thousand for a trailer, it was gone. You lost that money, okay? Because I guess there's a lot of theft going on with the trailer and stuff and whatnot. So they decided to make it harder for the honest people to uh, get their trailer registered and this and that because all them thugs and thieves out there want to be stealing, you know, and they make it harder for us honest people to uh, to get things done, you know what I mean? And it ended up costing more. It, it eventually ended up costing me right at another 500 bucks. So I didn't, you know, no biggie, I got it done. So I had another, I mean, I had $1,000 invested into the trailer after all. So uh, close to it. So you had to get the original bill of sale. You had to take it to the law enforcement agency. They had the uh, sheriff's office out there. They were inspecting the trailers. They were looking for uh, serial numbers or uh, VIN numbers and stuff like that. But mine didn't have any. They looked at it. They, they got up under it. I mean, they checked it thoroughly. I mean, they were, they were walking around. These guys had guns and everything, man. And uh, that took about uh, two hours. I went back to the DMV. I had that. They never telling me, no, you got to go get it appraised now. I'm like, whoa. Okay, so all this time, I'm, I have, I'm trying to do this on uh, my days off or take days off of work early. Or luckily, I got the, the uh, law enforcement done on a Saturday. But I had to take off early or I had to take a day off, miss work to go to back to the DMV only to tell me that I had to have uh, appraisal for it. So I took it to my, it had to be a dealer, trailer dealer. So I took it to my local trailer dealer over here down the road and they appraised it and uh, they appraised it at $1,300. What it's worth. But that's what they appraised it at. That cost me $100, okay? So I had, I had to pay 30, I had to pay $60 to get, no, $90 to get three 30 day permits because it took me a long time to get it to get this taken care of which is a pain in the ass I mean I had to go a long 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 way to get this done 45 I think 45 50 miles something like that one way up there one way back I went up there like four times I made like four trips up there anyway uh the uh when I get there I take the damn uh the lady goes, you make sure you have all this stuff in line. We'll get all, I had to do all paperwork. And then she said, okay, once you get, once you get the title appraisal, then come up here and see it. So I had the, I had the, uh, bill of sale, the original bill of sale. I had the, uh, the, uh, appraisal from the uh, trailer dealer. And then I had to take it to the, uh, to the law enforcement theft agency, anti-theft agency. Okay. That was 40 bucks. Plus ninety bucks for the for the for the three temporary tags I have, so I wouldn't get pulled over and get a ticket. And then the he appraised it. The appraisal guy charged me a hundred dollars for that. So you guys add that up. And uh, well, I get that's that's all fine and dandy. Okay. Then they say, okay, you you're gonna have to get a surety bond, which is this thing right here. Okay, the place. Uh, it's it basically the surety bond is for to protect you or to protect the uh, the DMV in case the people want to come back and uh, try to uh, sue me or sue them for the trailer back. Okay, so I had to pay $170 for the, the surety bond. It had to be done by basically uh, a bond place or whatever, but that's what it's called. Some of you guys might know what a surety bonds are. I don't know, but this was 170 bucks. Okay. Then, uh, let me see here. I don't want to leave nothing out. Yeah, the dealer fee was a hundred dollars, ninety dollars for three uh, uh, permits, thirty day permits. The surety bond was one hundred and fifty dollars. Sorry about that. Not one hundred seventy. Okay. And then I had to pay uh, once I got all that done. I went back inside to the DMV. They did all the paperwork. They finalized their thing. They had to approve it, and that was the final thing. They had to approve it. Okay. Then, I, then they said, "Okay, go outside. You got to get a surety bond. You can go shop around somewhere for cheap." But I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't. I wasn't 
really going to go run around at an insurance company try to get a surety bonds. I didn't have the time, really. So I was like, okay, you know what? 150 bucks, do it, get it done, get it over with. So they did it. Uh, so they got all the paperwork done, the ship, they approved it. They said, you're good to go. I said, great, amen. I'm, I was excited. Then they gave me my license plates. No, take that back. They approved it. I had to take the other paperwork back to the other DMV to get it to go get to get them to register it in the county where I live at, Collin County. And uh, that was 170 bucks, 169 dollars, 170 bucks. So if your guys are gonna buy a used trailer, do your homework. Make sure you get a. Make sure you, you don't throw the license plate away because that's what I did. Because half the numbers were smeared off. You couldn't even tell what they were. Okay. If I'd have had that license plate number, because it has a little sticker on the license plate, it tells you the license plate number, okay? I don't know, here in Texas, I don't know about any, anywhere, any other, I don't know my other state. I'm just talking about here in Texas. So those guys, if I had to throw away that license plate, I would, I could have avoided all this bullshit. My mistake, my bad, lesson learned, okay? Uh, but make sure you do your homework. If you get a trailer with no license plate, make sure you get something saying with something with their well, last time they had a register, some kind of paperwork with their name on it, their address, the license plate number, all that stuff. If not, you're gonna have a lot of problems, especially here in Texas. I don't know about anywhere else. Uh, but anyway, I got it all done. I had to go uh, DMV, get the paperwork. They gave me a packet, went to the DMV uh, motor vehicle in Carrollton. That was a waste of time, a long way. Uh, what else? Yeah, I had to go get it inspected at a, D at a law enforcement anti-theft uh, anti agency. That was it. Then I had to go to uh, a trailer dealer to get it inspected, get it uh, appraised. Okay, that cost money. Then I had to go get it a surety bond, which that's another 150 bucks. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so make sure you do your homework. Make sure you can get a title. Everything matches on the trailer. Because if not, you're gonna have a big, 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 big headache. I know I did. I had a huge headache. I mean, it took me almost two months to get this thing registered and transferred to my name. Because, well, of course, working long hours at work, and then I don't have no time in the afternoon. I didn't want to take off work, so I had to do it whenever I could, on days off or holidays or whatever. But anyway, uh, thank God everything's everything's done now. I got it. Uh, trailers registered. Got the title for it. It's in my name. I'm legal. I'm good to go. I went through a bunch of shit. But make sure you do your homework, find out as much as you can. Call the DMV, wherever you're at, and tell them what do you need to have done uh, to have your t trailer registered. If you don't have a title or anything like that, they'll tell you what to do. And trust me, it's, it, it'll be worth it longer because I, mean, I was running all over the place, wasting time, man, wasting gas. I mean, it was a pain in my ass big time. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys the trailer that I got. Like I said, it's homemade trailer. Uh, thousand bucks. It's mine. Don't owe nobody for it. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. All right. Anyway, this is the trailer. If you guys can see it, uh, it's, it's it's got a pretty decent floor on it still. I'm gonna replace the wood on it maybe next year, Lord willing. Single axle. Uh, it's got a real good heavy duty gate back there. I added the uh, weedy, I added the edger rack there for that for the stick edger, and crap. Anyway, uh, I added this water cooler thing here, which is was was an upgrade, and then I added another uh, another jack for it, which is no big deal. I mean, it's a, it's well built trailer, uh, single axle. I painted it when I got it, man, it was all rusted out. I sanded it down and just painted it. Used regular spray paint. I added the uh, clearance lights to it. And I added one up here in the front. And I added those to it. 
so I can be seen better at night or early in the morning or at night if I get in late or if I leave out early in the morning to go to work. But anyway, this is the, uh, it's got a real, real good uh, tailgate. I bought it just like it was, painted it and whatnot. And yeah, that's it. That's uh, this trailer, man. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I learned what I learned so I can help you guys out. If you're going to buy a used trailer, make sure you get all your ducks in a row. But anyway, uh, let me adjust this thing right here real quick. Yeah, I wanted to keep this thing at 15 minutes. Sorry about went too long, but man, it's just make sure you do your homework when you're buying a used trailer. You get all your call your DMV, tell them exactly what's going on. You have a trailer, no title, it's bill of sale. Tell them you know exactly what you need to do before you start heading out and doing this and doing that, and then you'll have less headaches. Like me, I had a lot of headaches. But anyway, I'm gonna close this video out. Uh, just wanted to share to you guys, share that with you guys. Uh, yeah, Gorilla Long Care. I remember like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. And, uh, yeah. Remember, uh, do something good for somebody. Help somebody out. Uh, bless somebody if you can. The ones that are deserving, the ones that actually, you know, that, that, that deserve it. I, that's just me, okay? But anyway, uh, this is Gorilla. Gorilla's out. And I'm out of here. I was gonna make this video earlier, but I was, like I said, I didn't feel very good. I had a two root canals done on this side, and I'm feeling much, much better. Thank God. Anyway, uh, I'm out of here. Anyway, I'm out of here.